What is up you guys, Nick here with another video. Today I have a really cool little tool to show you. So how many people actually use Bixby? How many people use this annoying app and button? How many times have you heard people complaining about how terribly it does work when it works and then half the time it doesn't work anyway and a lot of people just don't use it but if you accidentally bump this button you're going to open up Bixby. Well, I know of an app called Bixby Button Remapper, or it's actually called BX Actions by the developer Jawomo. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. This app is an amazing app. It works really, really well. Uh, you can use it to totally disable the Bixby button, or you can set it to do whatever you feel like it should do on your phone, turning it into basically a shortcut for anything on your device. Now you can read all about the app in the app description, but one thing I've seen in a lot of people's critical comments is that it has permissions to access all of these things here. And you'll notice, yes, it has permissions to take pictures, can read phone status and identity, modify or delete storage contents, control vibration, Google Play billing service, that's actually just there in case you want to donate to them. Um, access all these settings, but one thing you'll notice that is not here is the internet access permission and that is because he doesn't need it it's not reporting any of this data back so it's it needs these permissions to be able to do anything on your phone but it's not reporting the internet or it's not reporting any of this stuff it's not recording and sending it back because it doesn't have that internet permission so here we'll go back out and i'll show you guys what this app is all about so i'll hit install allow it to install Okay, open, next, and then you've got to give it these permissions, get foreground app, so, okay, BX actions, allow usage tracking, and then get button events, okay, enable, yes, okay, BX actions, Bixby button, okay. All right, and that is it. All data stays on your phone. It even says that within the app. I went ahead and donated for the pro version. Um, so I get the little toast notification there saying thanks for the coffee. I encourage you to do the same. If you connect this to your computer, which I have not done, you can enable some really cool stuff. But the easiest thing to do, or the thing that I like to do with it, is so single press, just, just by touching it. I like to have it set to change my uh, sound mode. So sound, vibrate, and silent. Just like that. And then long press, I like to have it set to toggle my flashlight. Now you can set it to toggle for extra power, but I don't like to do that because the light itself gets really hot and I don't want to burn out my LED flash. So we'll do that, and then action on long screen, we will, again, just make that the regular old flashlight. Where did that go? Flashlight, all right. And that's it. Now I'll show you what happens if I touch the button. You'll see screen flickers a little bit because Bixby likes to open. Oops, let's give it permission to enable do not disturb. So, and then you probably heard that system sound as it came back, so it alternates between vibrate and silent, and then, oh, it won't let me do it because the mic's in use by my screen recorder, but, um, it, because it's still trying to launch Bixby, but this app, I think, intercepts it, and it would turn the flashlight on ordinarily. So that's pretty much all you have to do to be able to use this app. And again, everything you do on this app is totally private unless you choose to share it by sending it to somebody. But the data stays on your device. It doesn't go back to the developer. He doesn't care. He did this as a service to the Android community. And uh, I encourage you to support him and leave him a good review on his app because I tell you, he did a lot of work. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.